We're also going to need a JTEXT area. JTEXT area. I'm going to call it JTEXT area log. You also need a J scroll pane. Don't forget to import this. J scroll pane. We're going to call it scroll pane. And this scroll pane just makes it uh, makes whatever we're going to put inside it scrollable. So import that. And now we have everything that we need, all the widgets that we need. So let's create our constructor for the add book panel class. So public add book panel, no parameters. And since this is extending the J panel, we need to call the super. And we're going to pass in new flow layout. Now you don't need to pass in a new a new flow layout because by default the layout is already a flow layout but we're just gonna pass it in just to make it explicit. And this flow layout is coming from java.awt. <clears throat> now that we have our constructor, what we're gonna do in the constructor is we're going to initialize our widgets, add our widgets to the screen, and then set the background color. So initialize the widgets, then we're going to add the widgets, to our panel, and then we're going to set the background to uh, my favorite color, and you're going to see when we run this, actually you already saw, it's like a teal color, and that color is this, so 194, 230, 248, import color, and here we're getting an error because we need to create the method, Just have Eclipse do that. I'm just going to cut and paste this before the add widgets. I mean, you don't need to. I just like doing that just to keep things organized because we're going to initialize the widgets and then add the widgets. <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do in initialize widgets is we're just going to, going to initialize all of our widgets. I think that's already uh, self-explanatory. So we're going to initialize our main box to a box that is a box.create vertical box. And what this create vertical box will give us is a box that whose orientation is vertical. What you mean? What I mean by, by orientation is that the order in which you add the stuff that we're going to add inside it, it's going to start from it's going to start adding from the top to the bottom. That's what it means by that's what it mean that's what it mean by uh, sorry that's what it means by uh, vertical. I'm going to add stuff from the top to the bottom, and then we're going to create a uh, a bunch of horizontal boxes going to initialize all our horizontal boxes. So just hbox1 uh, box.create horizontal box. And this horizontal box is a box that will take in widgets and store it from left to right. Now remember we had seven other horizontal boxes. Just copy this, copy and paste it seven times. Two, 
two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and just change the numbers. H box two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast, uh, but don't worry. Once you get used to it, it's it's really gonna be it's gonna be easy once you get uh, used to doing it this way. As I said, there's many different methods about uh, going going about this you can use grid layouts you can use uh, border layout but if you guys want to know what other layouts what other methods there are in creating a GUI then you guys can just Google um, Java layouts and you guys you guys will learn what other methods there are besides flow layout and using boxes whenever you're creating a GUI but I'm not gonna talk about that here as I already said I'm just gonna talk about how I usually do things so now that we've initialized our our boxes we're going to initialize our other widgets so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna initialize our J label ISBN to a new J label and what this J label uh, constructor is going to take is uh, the text of the J label so we're going to say enter ISBN and then we're just going to copy this a uh, couple of times it's for the title for the author for the price and for the log then we're just going to change the names to a uh, title author price file and initialize our log to And then we need to change the names. It's going to be enter title, enter author, price, file. What's this? Oh, call that JL log dog. And this is just log dog. Now that we've initialized all of our J labels, let's initialize. <clears throat> let's instantiate our uh, J text field. So J T for J text field. I S B N equals new J text field, and we're gonna put in the size the. Um, the column size, the, the span, the horizontal span of this J text field. We're going to set it to 19. And we're just going to copy and paste this a couple of times. One for the title, one for the author, one for the price, and one for the file. So JT <coughs> title, JT author, JT Rice, JT log dog, I mean JT file. We also need to instantiate our <clears throat> JTA log, which is corresponding to our log dog over there. JTA log equals a new J text area. And it's going to take in uh, the amount of rows. We're going to give it 10 rows. And we're going to give it 24 columns. 